Alright, what's going on guys? I'm bringing you a free-for-all class setup video. I'm going to have two free-for-all classes in this video for you guys to look at. Um, these are the two classes that I use in free-for-all. Like, this is my exact class. I probably have like 15 free-for-all chem strikes already. And I'll be uploading that for you guys in the future as the, you know, the days go on. Also, I have like this cool video. It's, uh, it's me getting back to back to back. So, three chem strikes in a row. Um, all in one recording on free for all. So I wasn't sure whether I should upload that as like one like it's like an 18 minute video or something, or if I should cut it up. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about how I should do that. I want it to be like proven that they were back to back. I'll probably upload like the pregame lobbies and the postgame lobbies to show that they were back to back. But I'll probably upload them as like three separate videos. But I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm pretty good at free for all. And uh, I got a bunch of chem strikes, so I figured I'd help you guys out with the class setups. Also, if you guys missed yesterday's video, it was uh, 146 kill gameplay on uh, Strike Zone Blitz. It was a bit of a spawn trap, so if you don't like that, um, don't go watch it. But if you missed it and you do want to see it, uh, I'll put it in the description so you guys can check it out. But anyways, moving on now. So this is the setup here. Um, the gun doesn't matter. That's completely personal preference. The guns for me are always changing because I'm trying to get different gameplays for YouTube. Um, use different guns for you guys so it's not boring. But if I had to pick one gun that I'd have to use, it would be the AK-12. And uh, I would put extended mags and I would put silencer on it. That would be my go-to gun. And I have gold camo for it too if you guys want it. There you go. Gold camo. There you go. Okay. That would be my go-to gun. That, that is my go-to gun in this game. I feel like it's the most consistent. And uh, it's probably one of the strongest guns in the game as well. Alright. So now my perks. Now these are the perks. A couple of these, in my opinion, you have to use. But other other ones you could probably take them out. So here are my perks that I use. Um, so I'm using sleight of hand. Now, well, let me do the perks that you have to use. In free-for-all, in my opinion, you have to use Dead Silence and you have to use Amplify, no matter what, because everyone else is going to be using those, and uh, if you're not using them, you're going to get fucking sound or real hard, and you're going to get killed a lot. Um, I noticed that a lot. In free-for-all especially, people do like the sound or, so you got to use both those two perks. And then, um, in my opinion, Focus is necessary as well. Um, it helps a lot in gunfights. If you guys aren't using Focus, you should probably try it out. And then Stalker as well. If you're using Assault Rifle, I think Stalker's necessary. But if you're using a submachine gun, um, then you can probably use Quick Draw maybe instead. I don't know. Whatever you want to use, really. Um, and then Sleight of Hand is just... I like having Sleight of Hand. You could probably replace it with Scavenger as a starting off perk if you want. Um, but anyways, so those are a couple of the starting off perks I think are necessary. And then the other ones, you know, you can do whatever you want. But those are the ones that I used. And then now I have the Specialist on. And the reason I did the, in this order is I did Scavenger first. Um, cause you need scavenger kind of early, like you, you don't want to ever be in a situation where you run out of ammo, so you're going to need your scavenger, then I did quick draw, and then I did dead eye, and I like dead eye a lot, um, if you don't want to use this perk, you don't have to, but I will recommend something to you, if you do use this perk, do not put it in your specialist bonus, put it right here in your first three perks that you unlock, and the reasoning for that is, over here, it doesn't matter really, like, what the, uh, what the value of the perk is. What, that, what matters is uh, the amount of kills you get or whatever. So if you do it this way, it'll take you a couple bit, a couple more kills to get to your specialist bonus. But within your specialist bonus, you'll have more perks unlocked if you don't use Deadeye as part of the specialist bonus or as part of your starting perks. And I'll, I'll explain. I'll come back to that in a second. But um, if you didn't understand what I'm saying, but I'll come back to that in a second. Let me talk about the rest of the perks. So now I also use Flag Jacket as part of my specialist bonus because um, I do get native quite a lot. And these IEDs are really fucking annoying. So I use that. And then I use Hardline simply because, you know, I'd rather, you know, have a 24. You know, you know you never want to die on a 24 kill streak, you know, when you're going for a KEM strike and, and think, oh, man, if I had Hardline, I would have got it. So that's the only reason I use that right there. And then I use Wiretap. Now, Wiretap's actually helpful. Um, if you guys don't know what it does, obviously, it uses everyone's UAVs. So say two people in your free-for-all game call in a UAV, bam, you got your own UAV right there. And um, it happens to me quite a, quite often. Like, literally every free-for-all game I go into... Um, you know, wiretap comes in handy, so I would definitely recommend using that for free for all as well. And uh, okay, so now let me explain to you what I was talking about with the dead eye thing. So let me let's say I don't use dead eye as one of my first three unlocks. I'm gonna just pick random perks. Don't worry, I'm gonna just pick random s perks. Okay, so let's say I pick these these three perks for my unlocks, right? So now I put dead eye right here. Bam! Now I ha that took up five slots. And now I only have three slots left to put another perk. So I put wire slots. Now I only have two perks for my specialist bonus. You see what happened there? Now, let's say I don't do that. Let's say I do, uh, you know, the way I had it, where I did scavenger. I don't even remember what the order is. Holy shit, I'm a retard. Um, okay, yeah, okay, it'll probably be scavenger, quick draw, and uh, dead eye. Okay. Now look at my specialist. Okay, so I have that hardline, uh, flak jacket, and 
Bam. So now I have four perks instead of two perks in my specialist bonus. So that's the reason I put Deadeye as, for, as one of my first three unlocks. So there you go. There's the explanation for that. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the class I had. I don't know. I don't remember. I'll have to, I'll have to go back and check. I'm pretty sure. Anyways, <laughs> I completely like, spaced out. Okay, and then the other class I use for free-for-all. Don't. Same thing about the gun. Use whatever gun you want. It's up to you. This is my assault setup. And basically, it's very similar to my other one for my starting out perks. The only difference I made is instead of sleight of hand, I put in scavenger, simply because I'm not going to be earning scavenger in uh, in my specialist bonus, obviously. And I feel like scavenger is more important than reloading quickly. Like, you never want to have to pick up an enemy's weapon or be in a situation where you don't have a weapon, you have no ammo or whatever. So that's the reason I put scavenger. And then the streaks I use for assault and free for all are the guard dog, the trinity rocket, and the battle hind. And, yeah, I mean, those are pretty self-explanatory. You don't want to go too high for your streaks and free-for-all, especially because, I mean, you could put on the Helo Pilot, but I don't even think it's worth it, really, because you're going to have to get 12 kills, and uh, by that time, the free-for-all is already halfway over. And, you know, say you died on, like, an 8 or something, then, you know, it gets kind of up there to the point where it's, like, you can't even earn your last streak. So I feel like 5, 7, 9 is, um, you know, low enough to where if you die a few times, you can still get your streaks. It won't be a big deal. Um, just my opinion. And plus, you know, the Halo Pilot and Loki are not even that good, to be honest. So, yep, there you go. So that's my Assault Free-For-All setup. Uh, I'll probably bring you guys some 30 and O's. Maybe maybe try to get a 30. Um, I have a 30 and O. Like, I have 30 and O's and 30 and 1's with Assault. Um, but I didn't get a Chem Strike because, you know, my kill my kill streak took some of the kills. I might try to get a Assault Chem Strike in Free-For-All. That would probably be good. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, be sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed. If you have any questions about these classes and stuff, be sure to leave that in the comment section below. Um, even the comment section is pretty fucking terrible on this game, on this game, on YouTube now, and, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see, I don't know, maybe they, they need to fix that, to be honest, Google Plus, ugh, terrible, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, have a good day, guys, and peace.